Hi everybody, welcome back to a new PyTorch tutorial. This time we want to talk about transforms for our dataset. In the last tutorial we used the built-in dataset and data loader classes. And if we use a built-in dataset like we see here, then we see that we can pass the transform argument to this dataset and then apply some transforms. So in this example, we use the built-in MNIST dataset and then we apply the toTensor transform, which will convert images or NumPy arrays to tensors. And PyTorch already has a lot of transforms implemented for us. So please have a look at the official documentation, which you can find at this link. And there you can see all the available transforms. And for example, there are transforms that can be applied to images, for example, center crop or grayscale or padding. And then there are transforms that can be applied to tensors like the linear transformation or normalize. Then there are conversion transforms, for example, the to pillow image and the to tensor transform. Then there are also generic transforms where we can use lambdas or we can write our very own custom class. And then we can also comp compose multiple transforms. So we can use transforms.compose and then pass in a list which will apply uh, multiple transforms after each other. And yeah, so in the last tutorial we implemented a custom wine data set. Now let's extend this class to support our transforms and write our own transform classes. So let's start. And here I copied um, the code from the last tutorial where we have our own uh, custom wine data set which will load the data. And then we implemented the get item and the length method, which will allow indexing and the length function. So let's extend this data set. So now this should also support the transform argument. So we put this in our init and say transform. Oh, sorry. Transform equals. So this is optional. So by default, this is none. And then in the init, we store this. So we say self.transform equals transform. And now we also have to make some changes to our get item function. So here we want to apply a transform if it's available. So let's say here um, sample equals this. And then we say if self.transform so if this is not none, then we apply this. So we say sample equals self dot transform our sample. And then we simply return our sample. So let's return sample. And this is all the change that we need for our data set. And now let's continue and let's um, create some custom transform classes. For example, we can write our own to tensor class. So in the last tutorial, we already uh, converted it to a tensor right here in this step, but we don't need to do this. So we can leave this as a NumPy array. And then let's implement a to tensor class, which will then be passed to our data set and which will then later um, um, convert this to a tensor. So the class to tensor and the only thing that we need is that we need to implement is the double underscore call method, which will get self and a sample. So now this is a callable object and what we uh, do here is first we unpack our sample. So we say inputs and labels or targets equals sample. And then we say return torch dot from numpy. 
and here input and then also torch dot from numpy uh, targets. So here also we return, we still want to return a tuple like we did here. And this is all that we need for our to tensor transform. And now we can pass this in here. So now we can say our wine data set gets the transform transform equals to tensor which is a function and now let's have a look at this so let's get the first item so let's say first data equals data set of index zero and then let's unpack our data so first data so let's say um, features and labels equals first data and now let's print uh, the type of the features and also the type of the labels so now if we run this then we should see this is now of class torch tensor and if we don't pass this in here, so if you say this is none, no transform, then we see that it's still a numpy nd array. So this is how we write our own tensor, uh, our own transform, and then apply it for our own data set. And now let's write, for example, uh, another uh, tr custom transform. So let's call this mul transform so a multiplication and here we imp uh, implement the init method so this has self and this has a factor argument so here we store this self dot factor equals factor and then again we must implement the double underscore call um, function or call method which gets self and the sample and here again let's unpack our sample so let's say inputs and inputs and target equals sample and then let's only apply the factor to our features so let's say inputs um, time is multiplied by our self dot factor and now let's return our inputs, our modified inputs and our target like, still as a tuple. And so this is the multiplication transform. And now let's apply this. So let's apply a, let's say a compose transform in this case to see how we can use this. So let's say composed equals and here we need torch vision dot transforms dot compose and here we put in a list of our transforms so here first we want to have to tensor and then we want to have mal transform and let's say so this needs a factor so let's say multiplied by two and now let's create a new data set equals wine data set which gets the transform equals our compose transform compose and now again let's get this so get or let's just copy this from here and run this to see if this is working so now here we have a tensor and let's also have a look at the so let's print the features and here also print the features to see if the multiplication got applied so here now we should see that each value got doubled and now let's use another 
factor. So let's multiply it by four and run this. And now we should see that each of the value should now be multiplied by four. And yeah, so this is how we can use the transform for our data sets. And it's very useful. Uh, yeah, most of the time you see the conversion um, transform to tensor, but also a lot of times when we work with images, you might see some of them. So yeah, please check that out on the documentation website. And I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Bye.